on everybody today we have a short and sweet video comparing two of my favorite cameras the Sony FX3 and the iPhone I use these cameras all the time and was genuinely curious to test them side by side to see how they look all right enjoy okay this is the iPhone and this is the Sony FX3 That was sick. Oh no, here's a comparison for how sick it was. My camera just fell. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. As we wrap this up, it's worth noting that I use these cameras in very different scenarios. Oftentimes, I'm using my phone for kind of family documentation as well as when I'm on a trip, and I use my Sony FX3 for short films and work, though I do like to use my iPhone for cinematic shooting. Overall, I think I'm gonna prefer the Sony FX3, but there were a few cases where the iPhone honestly looked better. This shot here, I'll put it on the screen, of the path, I found myself getting confused between what was the FX3 and what was the iPhone because the iPhone shot looks so good. The iPhone is going to win in terms of dynamic range. You just cannot beat that software, but oftentimes it's looking a little contrasty and a little too punchy for my liking, while the FX3 most likely in your mind is gonna win with skin tones, colors, as well as just having that more cinematic look to it. But overall, I have to say I am very impressed with the iPhone. It's always fun to test the phone versus an actual cinema capture device. I hope you thought this was interesting as well. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, I'm with Caleb, and we're running around doing, doing, doing fun stuff. Peace.